Good morning, welcome to CCTV. Uh, Fifth Station here. I'm gonna try to tune in this channel I've been listening to on this Russian report. Okay, so bear with me for a second. All right. Good morning, everybody. The title of the article is Putin Fires Generals Over Nibiru Anunnaki Dispute. And I will read. This is the Russian one. This President is one. Listen Vladimir up. Putin on Wednesday fired three generals that castigated his decision to budget cash toward his Anunnaki war rather than devote assets and money to preparing the nation for an impending Nibiru apocalypse, according to a Ministry of Defense official speaking under promise of anonymity. The criticism of Putin's decision emerged shortly after he addressed the federal cabinet of ministers, telling them he had obtained new information proving that Nibiru would not achieve Perigee by early 2020. Therefore, Putin this opted is the to one. spend the nation's cash on fighting the extraterrestrials with whom he has been engaged in a silent and clandestine war since 2013. <laughs> Lieutenant General Viktor Lindev, Deputy Head of the Central Directorate of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Russia for the Novosrost region, and I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, said Putin's misplaced trust in Roscosmos, Russian, Russia's version of NASA, jeopardized millions of Russian lives. Lednev argued Roscosmos may have unintentionally given Putin, quote, sour information, unquote, based on a scandal that rocked the Russian space agency last August. On August 18th, the Federal Service Bureau, the principal security agency of Russia, identified, exposed, and later executed two Mossad agents working at Roscosmos. Somehow, they had defeated a rigorous screening process to gain employment as IT specialists. FSB later discovered they had seeded the space agency's computer network with both dangerous and damaging unquote false data on everything from rocket geometry to calculations on the viewer's orbit to the solar system. In September, Roscosmos director Alexander Bortsov assured Putin the bad data had been purged from the system and said engineers restored the original data from fail-safe backups. Quoting our source, General Lednev told Putin that while Anunnaki are a great threat, he should not ignore the coming of Nibiru. He got very loud with Putin, something that is not done. And Putin, in Trumpian fashion, told him, you're fired, and swore to replace him with a general who knows how to follow orders. His getting fired was not the only one. Putin also terminated Major General Alexander Yaznyov head of the Central Directorate of the Ministry of Defense for issues of civil defense, emergencies, and disaster management in the Republic of Komi. He said Putin's bumptious obsession with the Anunnaki compromised his judgment and precluded his ability to sanely make decisions involving Nibiru. He demanded Putin cede authority on matters of Nibiru to, quote, military experts, unquote, familiar with the Dark Star's threat to the Russian Federation. He urged Putin to focus on Nibiru and make fighting the Anunnaki a second priority. Quoting our source again. Needless to say, President Putin was not pleased. He told Niazov, anyone not making the Anunnaki a top priority is as good as an Anunnaki collaborator and not fit for command. He fired him with extreme prejudice. Putin never wants to see him again. He told him to get out of his sight, our source said. The phalanx of criticism did not end there. General Lavro Dmitrievich, a ground forces commander and veteran of the Chechen war, said Putin's crusade against the Anunnaki endangered countless Russian lives. His forces, he added, had for years trained to quell civil unrest that might surface in the aftermath of Nibiru's passage through the solar system. He had neither the time nor inclination to retrain soldiers to fight alien invaders, he said, and bashed Putin's myopic resolve to fight a war he cannot win. Quoting our source one last time. Mitrovich told Putin too many Russian soldiers are already fighting the Anunnaki and dying in battle. He even had the nerve to suggest Putin strike a deal with the alien scum. 
Like the others, Putin fired him and said he was lucky not to be sent to the Gulag for his disobedience. In Putin's eyes, anyone not in line with his anti-Anunnaki plans is not fit for service in the Russian military, regardless of rank. I suspect others may soon be fired too. Exactly, you can't do that. But, but some people God, what in the world, Lord, Lord, help us. You hear that article, people? That's crazy sounding. But you know something? Um, I actually read something October 19th about that. So I actually think maybe it's real. I don't know. You know, whatever's fake news nowadays, you never know, right? Like Forrest Gump said, life's like a box of chocolates. You never know when you're going to get a nut in a bunch. <laughs> Welcome to Seafood Hall Channel. Now CCTV and just showing you some crazy subscriber footage. Keep watching. Your name might pop up. Maestro, we need some music on this. Now, folks, here's a piece from Brenda. Um, she's seen this thing coming down. She pegged it 100%. Would any of you seen that? Or you just said, oh, that's just dark clouds. No, she's seen the ball right there. Now, I'm going to bring it out. Keep watching. And put some more music on. So what we do here is we look at the skies. We filter them. We listen to good music. We drink good coffee and eat good Popeye's chicken. Anyways, I'll be doing some live shows pretty soon, people. Um, I'm just reconstructing my life right now. For the last days, I'm enjoying every bit of my wife and my dog and my family I can. Okay? I had a few things from Brenda. Here's one of them. Got about four clips. Keep watching. The Book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel, Chapter 1. Now it came to pass in the thirtieth year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Kibar, that the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. In the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's captivity, the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Kibar. And the hand of the Lord was there upon him. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself. And a brightness was about it, and out of the midst thereof as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. And every one had four faces, and every one had four wings. And their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. So you see those stripes on that planet? So I know Brenda's not lying about this. I know she's not faking this. If I have the original big shots where, you know, it's pulled back. Right now she's got this thing zoomed all the way in, so I was able to filter pretty good. But, um, you know, I know Brenda's like watching and praying, looking in the clouds for Jesus. And see, so when you see the signs like this, they're pointing to Jesus. Because he says in the last days we'll see signs in the heavens. And this is signs in the heavens. That's why we're celestial watchers, heavenly watchers. We're watching and praying. So we're not just looking for Nibiru and looking for aliens. We're finding them. We're pointing to them because they're pointing to Jesus. They went every one Got straight Jesus. forward. Think about it. Whither the Spirit was to go, they went. And they turned not when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire and like the appearance of lamps. It went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning. 
and the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. Now, as I beheld the living creatures, behold one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of a burl, and they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. When they went, they went upon their four sides, and they turned not when they went. As for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful, and their rings were full of eyes round about them four. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Whithersoever the spirit was to go, they went. Thither was their spirit to go. And the wheels were lifted up over against them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. When those went, these went. And when those stood, these stood. And when those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up over against them. For the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. And the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creature was as the color of the terrible crystal stretched forth over their heads above. And under the firmament were their wings straight, the one toward the other. Every one had two which covered on this side, and every one had two which covered on that side their bodies. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings like the noise of great waters, as the voice of the Almighty, the voice of speech, as the noise of an host. When they stood, they let down their wings. And there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads when they stood, and had let down their wings. And above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne, as the appearance of a sapphire stone. And upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. And I saw as the color of amber, as the appearance of fire round about within it, from the appearance of his loins even upward, and from the appearance of his loins even downward, I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had brightness round about. As the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spake. Appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spake.